Hello. Would you have time to look into something for me? Commander Ethan Burgess said your service. I was raised in London, and I didn't give much thought to a career in service until the Breen attack on Earth during the Dominion War. My eyes were open that day. If we weren't safe on Earth, the most protected world in the Federation, we weren't safe anywhere. I joined Starfleet soon after. I was recruited out of the Academy for Starfleet Intelligence, and I've spent my entire career at SI. Wouldn't have it any other way. The Delta Quadrant became a bit of a pet project of mine over the years. I spent hours analyzing Voyager's logs and mission reports and learning all I could about this area of space. There's so much here we need to understand. The Voth, the Undine, the Borg, and they're just the tip of the spear. Now that Starfleet is back here, I want to be at the forefront of learning all we can about the Quadrant and its dangers. Hello. Would you have time to look into something for me? Admiral Tuvok has requested that you meet Voyager in the Solarin system. I believe he requires your assistance with a personal issue. While you're there, you should be able to get a briefing on the current state of the Delta Quadrant. Hello. Would you have time to... since Voyager finished its journey. We thought we had left the Delta Quadrant behind us. We were wrong. The gateways to the Quadrant are open. And the choices we made have long-lasting effects. Now, we will help the friends we left behind. And fight the rising darkness. Voyager's first trip through the Delta Quadrant was a solitary one. We must return to set things right. This time, we must unite to survive. Greetings. Admiral Tuvok is waiting for you in the conference room. Welcome aboard. And if I may say so, it's good to see you again. Between Doomsday Devices and the Delta Quadrant, it looks like we get all of the interesting assignments. If you'll come with me, I'll take you to Admiral Tuvok. He wants to see you right away. It's good to see you too. Someone decided that with our experience with that, uh, borrowed bird of prey, I'm the perfect person to handle joint operations with the Klingons out here in the Delta Quadrant. I even got a promotion, as you can see. What would you like to know? The Admiral is trying to track down Dr. Cooper. He thinks that Cooper is the key to this conflict with the Undine. He hasn't explained why yet, but he says that your assistance is crucial. What would you like to know? Unstable, but not totally out of control. The Borg have suffered setbacks on multiple fronts. They're being pressed hard by the Voth, the Undine, and various liberated elements. The Voth are mostly bottled up in their home space and in the Solanae Dyson Sphere. We've established some connections with a few of the locals, such as the Kobali and the Talaxians. Of course, there are still troublemakers out here. The Kazon, the Herogen, the Malon, and there's a new power player we're very concerned about. Whoever they are, they're picking off systems left and right. Even the Krenim weren't a match for them. We need to find out who they are and what they want. What would you like to know? Voyager spent seven years in the Delta Quadrant, and during that time many of her systems were optimized to deal with the hazards out here. 
this old girl's still got a few tricks. Besides, Admiral Tuvok specifically brought Voyager out for this mission, and what the Admiral wants, the Admiral gets. What would you like to know? This way, please. Sorry we don't have time for a tour, but the Admiral insists he needs to speak with you right away. The Admiral is waiting for you in the ready room. Greetings. Thank you for coming so promptly. We do not have much time, and I require your assistance. I am still under telepathic assault by the Undine we know as Cooper. He has found some means to greatly increase his psionic power, and I cannot withstand his assault indefinitely. I will need your help to repel Cooper's attack and counter him. What else do you need to know? I have been able to deflect Cooper's attacks thus far, but I require assistance to repel him and gain any useful information. I propose initiating a Vulcan mind meld through which you will be able to enter my mind and aid me against Cooper. What else do you need to know? Your prior experiences with Cooper should allow your subconscious mind to hone in on him. An outsider who has never encountered him before would have no such connection and could never hope to find him. What else do you need to know? My mind to your mind. Your thoughts to my thoughts. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Mm -mm -mm. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? First, I need to make sure you're not contagious or suffering from any injuries. This will only take a moment. Don't be difficult. I'm only doing my job. Engineers and captains, always in a hurry to get out of sick bay. You're not going anywhere. Doctor's orders. Can you hear me? Come speak to me at the desk terminal. The mind meld was successful. Excellent. I am currently trapped in the ready room. For the moment, I will only be able to communicate with you remotely. Cooper is working to subvert my mental defenses, and I must focus my concentration on keeping my mind intact. No. Cooper is trying to erode my emotional control. Symbolically, this means that he must destroy Voyager. To do so, he is attempting to overload the warp core. You must proceed to engineering to stop Cooper from destabilizing the warp core. If he is successful, he will have broken down my mental control systems. Once the core and my mind are protected from Cooper's attacks, then we can take control of this mindscape. Take the pad from the doctor's office. I will use it to communicate with you as you proceed. Good. Now we will be able to remain in contact. Proceed to engineering.
Cooper is attempting to subvert my mental defenses by replacing my memories with engrams from his bioship. Until he is expelled, these kinds of incursions will continue. You may see strange items or distortions in your surroundings. Ignore them and proceed as best you can. Remember Kiri Kintha's first law of metaphysics. Nothing unreal exists. Cooper is trying to overload the warp core. You must keep it stable. The mindscape is a simulacrum. Cooper may move elements to suit his needs or try to stop you. Certain areas may be blocked or damaged or even transformed. Do your best to reach your destination. Cooper cannot simultaneously attack an area and conceal it. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? This area is very dangerous. The core is unstable. I've almost got this. Just keep back. It will only take a few more minutes. Vilana, I don't know. She should be here, but as far as I can tell, everything on Voyager is about to fall apart, and I'm the only one here. Stay back. I'm going to put a force field around the core while I try to stabilize it. It won't contain a core breach, but it might block some of the radiation if the magnetic stabilizers give out. You are stupid, aren't you? Only people the Vulcan melded with should be here. Not everyone on Voyager is part of Tuvok's warped little subconscious. Some of us are far more... exceptional. I'll destroy you, and Tuvok's mind with you. Get he has out! has raised defenses to protect himself. Use one of the engineering consoles to press for attack. defenses to protect himself. Use one of the engineering consoles to press your attack. Quickly, use the controls to restore the warp core. This will strengthen my mental defenses. Excellent. With my mental defenses stabilized, we should have additional time to fend off Cooper's intrusion. Head to the crew decks. Inside of my memories exist fragments of personalities from any person with whom I have previously experienced a mind meld. You may be able to find someone whose personality is not wholly part of my mind, and thus not susceptible to Cooper's influence. Move through the crew decks to your right. You may be able to find a fragment of a personality who can help. People with whom I have previously melted have left impressions of their katras in my mind. You may be able to convince one to assist you. Because they are not technically me, Cooper's ability to subvert them may be limited.
happening? What am I doing here? Who are you? I require specifics. Answer me. I have no reason to trust you, but this seems familiar somehow. Why am I in the crew quarters? I should be in my regeneration alcove. Seven, you are currently experiencing an engrammatic regress as a result of a Vulcan mine meld. You must assist me in reasserting control over the meld. I am currently locked in the ready room next to the bridge. Exercise caution as Species 8472 has subverted the vessel. That is Borg technology. But the presence of the Collective will not dissuade us. Assimilation is irrelevant. Assimilated Undine. He may be a reflection of the unconscious fears of Species 8472. Just get this over with. I will secure the bridge while you release Tuvok. With Cooper defeated, he should no longer be able to maintain the telepathic link with my mind. For the time being. We must end the mind meld and consider our next course of action. Now that we have removed Cooper's influence, it is time to break the link between he and myself. With Cooper's attack temporarily halted, we are in a position to slow the advance of his Undine forces. Please accompany me to the bridge. We still do not have a fix on Cooper's whereabouts. I will contact Starfleet for any current information about Undine movements. Use the sensors to check for their quantum signatures. Voyager's sensor array is currently calibrated for tracking Undine movements, so you should be able to garner results quickly. You should return to your ship. While I am somewhat fatigued as a result of the mind melt, I believe that I can continue in my duties on Voyager while we plan our next steps. We must still be in the meld. Cooper is trying to deceive us. He needs to break the link cleanly, but lacks the strength to confront us directly. You don't belong here.
We should use the link to our advantage. If we can track Cooper through the link, we can then pursue him in the physical realm. Since the Mindscape deals in symbolic representations, we need a map to his location. We should proceed to Astrometrics. Cooper is trying to block your progress. Look for another path. In 2375, Voyager encountered a malfunctioning Borg vinculum that had been turned into a trap by species 6339. This vinculum caused other personalities from the Collective to surface in Seven of Nine. I entered a mind meld with her in an attempt to stabilize her personality. These people are echoes of the personalities of people assimilated by the Borg. They are not truly aware, knowing only that they desire to escape. It may be helpful to think of them as ghosts, metaphorically speaking, of course. Cooper is attempting to distort your path again. Keep searching. I sense we are making progress. Keep searching.
This ordeal has taxed me mentally, but I must continue the mission. I have learned that Cooper is in fluidic space, in an area that corresponds to the location known in our dimension as the Northwest Passage. We must travel there and enter fluidic space to confront Cooper once more. He is aboard a special command bioship that he cannot abandon. If we catch him in fluidic space, we can force a final confrontation. Please join me on the bridge. I must focus my concentration on regaining my strength. I need you to enter our destination coordinates and make certain that there are no more surprises. Voyager will join you in the Northwest Passage. We'll leave as soon as you've returned to your ship. We need to hurry if we want to catch Cooper. This area of space was labeled by Commander Chakotay as the Northwest Passage. It is a corridor of space that the Borg avoid because of the high incidence of quantum singularities, which the Undine use as points of transit. Voyager encountered the passage in 2373, and Captain Janeway chose to use it to travel through Borg space. This precipitated our first contact with Species 8472. We must locate a quantum singularity that will lead us into the correct area of fluidic space. My suspicion is that Cooper is using this region as a staging ground for the massed Undine fleet, and his command bioship will be there as well. Approach each singularity and check its quantum wave signature. When we find the correct one, we will pass through. Cooper's command bioship. According to my scans, he is using a modified dreadnought as a control vessel. Intriguing. Cooper's bioship appears to have nerve clusters, gyri, and structures typically associated with brain matter. While most bioships are organic, they are not aware. Rather, they are biological tissue operated by the Undine as tools. Cooper's vessel is different. It is possible that the ship is self-aware. This would explain the increase in Cooper's telepathic abilities. Not only is his command bioship able to coordinate the entire Undine fleet, acting as a brain for the other ships, but it also amplifies his psionic power. We must gain access to the ship directly. We will need to temporarily disable its shielding mantle so we can fire upon vulnerable sections to disable it. You've come a long way. But as you can see, I am not unprepared for your arrival. <laughs> the 
This command bio ship is unique. It is capable of coordinating an entire fleet of bio ships. A fleet that will launch from the structure you see here. Even if you attack me, I suspect you will find the sheer power of my new fleet to be overwhelming. We are close to Cooper's position, but the bioship is blocking transport in the area closest to the central nexus. We must find control nodes that will allow us to enter the nexus. As the ship is organic, we may be able to force it open by sending impulses through certain nerve endings, thereby causing a reflex reaction, much like a sneeze. Muscles controlling this passage will not release. We will need to find control ganglia we can use to trigger a reflex response and open the door. Cooper should be in the chamber just beyond this door. An intriguing notion. I shall make the attempt. You must protect me from Cooper and his soldiers while I concentrate on the mind melt. When you are ready, we shall proceed.
The ship is resisting the melt. I must move to another neural cluster. The ship is resisting the meld. I must move to another neural cluster. You must protect me from undine attacks while I concentrate. You must protect me from undine attacks while I concentrate. You! You did this! My mind to your mind. Communication established. Your thoughts to my thoughts. The weak will perish. Why should we listen to the weak? You will perish when the Iconians complete their purge. To the Iconians, you are weak. When we fight one another, we are weak. United, we are strong. No! Don't listen to him! We must see to our needs. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. The many must survive. We don't need them! The many will be strong. The strong will survive. They are weak. I will save us. You are weak. What? No! But together, we are strong. You will be repurposed. No! The Bio-Dreadnought has no intention of entering our space. Now we must return to our ships before the Undine retreat to their own fortresses in fluidic space. There are no signs of Undine pursuit. Whatever the intent of the remaining Undine forces, it seems that they do not involve our dimension. As a Vulcan, I am not given to personal displays. Nonetheless, we have shared a deep connection. We will always carry a part of this experience with us. In a sense, you have become a portion of my mental defenses, part of the ship and crew that define the most challenging aspects of my existence. Our shared effort has prevented another Undine invasion and incidentally allowed me to retain my sanity. Your contributions are appreciated. I must advise Starfleet Command of these developments. I am sure we will speak again. Until then, I am confident that events in the Delta Quadrant are in capable hands. Live long and prosper. With Cooper gone, the Undine won't have a leader pushing them toward war with our forces. I wonder why he was so set on this conflict. We still don't know exactly how long Cooper had been replaced by an Undine, or if the original Cooper is still alive. 
Perhaps this Undine saw something during his time among us that convinced him that the only way to secure the safety of his people was to destroy ours. It wouldn't be the first time that's happened. Remember the Zindi attack on Earth in the 22nd century? They were told by the Sphere Builders that they had to destroy Earth to save themselves. It turned out that Sphere Builders were using the Zindi as a tool in their own destructive plans. We know the Iconians have manipulated the Undine. Maybe they were the ones pushing Cooper to attack. Hello. Congratulations. You have time to 